Hello, my name is Ann Simpson, and I am the Adult Services Librarian here at the Winter Park Public Library. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to suggest a purchase right from the catalog. Let's get started. Although our hope is that the library has everything you would ever want to borrow, we know that may not always be the case. If there is an item that you think is missing from our collection, it's never been more simple to suggest a purchase. I'm hoping that the library has a copy of If It Bleeds by Stephen King on audiobook so I can listen to it on my commute. Starting at the library's homepage, I'm going to use the search bar at the top of the screen to search for the title If It Bleeds. This will open the catalog and we can see that the first result is the Stephen King book If It Bleeds. Unfortunately, we can also see that the only formats available are book and ebook. I'm going to click on the title just to verify that I'm not missing anything, but unfortunately, my desired format of audiobook is not currently available. At this point, I'm going to suggest a purchase. If you'll notice at the top of the screen, there are now four buttons. One, two, three, four. The fourth one reads suggest a purchase, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Once I click on suggest a purchase, I will be prompted to log in with either my library card number or my easy username and password. I'm going to use my easy username and password to log in to my account. Once I have successfully logged in, we can see the suggest a title form. There are a number of fields to fill out, but the only ones required are title, author, format, and pickup branch. These are denoted with a red asterisk next to the label. Using as much information as you have, fill out the form to the best of your ability. So I'm going to type, if it bleeds into the title, Stephen King for the author, and the format I'm looking for is audiobook but there are a number of different formats depending on what you're interested in. Publication date, I'm going to type 2020, and pickup branch is Winter Park Library. At this point, this is all of the information that I have readily available, and I'm ready to hit submit. If, for example, I was suggesting a DVD of a movie or a TV series, I may not have an author. In that case, you would want to submit either the actor or director or somebody involved in the production so that we can verify that it's the right movie should we decide to purchase the item. Now that I'm ready to submit my purchase request, all I have to do is click on submit at the bottom of the form. And at this point, we'll see this screen that says suggestion submitted and thank you for your suggestion. The library will contact you with the status of your request within four weeks. So just be a little bit patient and you'll hear back from us either way if we do or do not decide to purchase the item. So please keep an eye on your email. If we were unable to purchase the item and you are a full service card member, please consider placing an interlibrary loan request. Full service card members are able to suggest a purchase and have that item automatically placed on hold. So if I click on my account at the top of the screen, we'll be taken to my account page. Under account activity, we should see loans where I have nothing on loan. I have four items on hold and I have two pending holds. If we click on pending holds, we'll see the items that I have suggested the library purchase. Once these items are purchased and able to be held in the catalog, I will be automatically added to the request list, which is really cool. Then it will proceed as usual and I'll be contacted when the item is ready for me. I hope this was a helpful introduction to a new method for suggesting items for the library's collection. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to ask us for more information or assistance. Thanks for watching and happy reading.